A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Monday, April 24th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. A plan to place refugees who were sent to the city of New York at SUNY New Paltz to attend classes and live in the county has yet to be formalized, SUNY Chancellor Dr. John King told MidHudson News. King said the city of New York would pick up the tab to house the students at the college dorm and fund their tuition at the Lock Sheldrake campus. The idea is uh, where there's an opportunity for folks who are refugees to gain additional skills so that they are able uh, to support themselves and their families, uh, we should try to be helpful. Uh, but we're continuing conversations with New York City about the exact details uh, and have not yet completed an agreement with them on how we move forward. The dormitory at SUNY Sullivan faces a rather high vacancy rate making it ideal to use, the refugees' officials say. The number of jobs created in the state year-over-year in March were 2.8% higher than the same month in 2022, says the state Labor Department. In the Hudson Valley Catskills, Sullivan County jobs grew the most at 3.6%. Ulster County came in a close second at 3.4% job growth. The Orange Rockland-Westchester metro area saw jobs grow At 1.8%, the Dutchess Putnam Metro Division lost 2% of its jobs in March, according to the Labor Department. The State Public Service Commission has released a critical audit of Central Hudson Gas and Electric Corporation, making recommendations related to strategic planning, billing, and information systems, project management, and benchmarking. The state agency said the investigation into the utility's customer billing problems remains ongoing. The Dolsontown Road area of the town of Weweanda is being considered for creation of a transportation improvement district because of the anticipated growth in commercial development in that corridor. A tax would be levied on businesses in that corridor to fund roadway improvements as more commercial businesses come into the area, says town supervisor Denise Quinn. We have some interest in that area for businesses that do have the high-tech paying jobs. So we're hoping we can get some of those businesses in that area, which would be a great benefit to the town and the surrounding businesses. Town officials are continuing to weigh their options as far as that new district is concerned. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. The town of Hurley has completed its draft 2023 comprehensive master plan, which now goes to the public for comment and feedback. The 2023-2033 town vision reviews several components, They include preservation and protection of the town's scenic beauty and rural character by respecting its environs, its natural resources, climate, history, and small-town atmosphere. It allows incremental, sustainable, well-designed, and community-scale neighborhood expansions that are consistent with the town's vision of maintaining a small, locally-oriented, socially vibrant, creative, and connected community and it respects the town's autonomy to pursue its vision. The revised draft update will be subject to a public hearing and a state environmental review. Following those procedures, the town board can move to adopt the plan. Residents say it sounded like a freight train when a suspected tornado tore through the Roscoe and Calicoon Center areas of Sullivan County Saturday night. Damage appeared to be in a straight line going from southwest to northeast. The strong wind gusts knocked over utility poles. NYSEC was in the process of restoring power on Sunday. At the Roscoe substation of the state police, a tree came down on a police vehicle. 
and a funnel cloud was spotted over Livingston Manor. The city of Middletown hosted its citywide cleanup on Saturday with more than 500 people volunteering to spruce up the city in observance of Earth Day. The event is in its 15th year, and this year a record number of residents, local groups, and several organizations gathered to support the effort. This was one of many Earth Day community cleanups around the region. Rick McCormick, the Middletown City Clerk, was one of the organizers of the event. We have everybody from the city out today, our school groups, our sporting groups, our religious groups, our civic groups, here to go out throughout the city of Middletown and clean up our streets and pick up litter. Volunteers gathered at the Erie Way Park Pavilion, where they were provided all of the necessary equipment and deployed to areas throughout the city. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.